Hello everyone and welcome back to Jacket Educational Channel. So this is the part 48 for the most expected question for each unit of the UGC Net Environmental Science. So if you haven't checked the previous 47 parts in this series, you can check the link given in the playlist as well as in the description. So here in this video, we will deal three important and very easy questions from the biostats and you will also get the homework after this video. So very simple homeworks will be also there. So kindly watch this video carefully and note down all the formulas. So without wasting much time, let's get started. So before going for the questions, I would like to remind you that statistics playlist is separate and you can check the link given in the i button if you only want to practice some of the basics of statistics question coming in the net examination. So let's go for the first question. So here comes our question. It is on our screen. So let us read the question. The question says find the expectation for the following discrete probability distribution. So this is the expectation for some of you it will be the new word new terminology but very easy. So let us see what are the data given in the question. In the question it has given the x values that are 10, 14, 18, 25 and 35 and the probability of different x are also given. So here you should mark that all this sum together should make the probability that is the value will be 1. Yes, if you add all these 0 0.125, 0 0.225, 0 0.325, 0 0.200 and 0 0.125, we will get the value as 1 because the total probability of any sample is always 1. So this is the basic concept and if some question is not having this value, then that question is absurd. It is not at all correct question. So first you should look into here that whether it is adding up to one or not. Now I will tell you how to find this factor that is expectation of any data where these two data are given that is x values and probability of individual x. So let's move to the next slide. So here comes the solution part and here we will know. So first of all, we should write in the paper. We will make our own table as here it is mentioned. Same thing we have to write it here. Then what we have to find? e of x that is the expectation of the given data for the x values and here the formula is summation of x i p i. So what is that thing that is very simple you have to multiply each of the x value with their probability value and add it up. So 10 multiplied by 0 0.125 14 multiplied by 0 0.225 plus 18 by multiplied by 0 0.325 similarly 25 multiplied by 0 0.200 and 35 multiplied by 0 0.125 so you have to multiply each of these that is x i with their probability and after that what you have to do will simply add all this value and after that we will get a value for here for example we get the value as 19.625 for this question which is approximately around 20 so here the answer will be 20 and the expectation for the following probability distribution the discrete probability here it is not continuous the answer will be 20 and very simple formula if at all this question is given simply you have to multiply each of the probability value with the respective x value and then add all of them. So I hope it is clear and very simple let's move on to the next question. So guys next question is also from the probability section so let us read the question. So the question asks find P of A intersection B that is probability of A and this symbol is the intersection symbol when the probability of A of any sample is given as 1 by 3 and probability of B is given as 1 by 4 and probability of A union B. So this symbol is for union P A union B the probability is given 1 by 5 and we have to find probability of A intersection B. So don't get confused between union and intersection. So very simple formula we will know how to find this value. So how to find we have to know given we have to write probability of A is given 1 by 3, probability of getting B is given 1 by 4, probability of A union B is given as 1 by 5. So the formula to calculate probability of A intersection B will come from this formula that is probability of A union B is equal to probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersection B. So when we take this probability of A intersection B in the left hand side, what we will get? We will get probability of A plus probability of B subtracted by 
1 by 5 is what? 1 by 5 is probability of A union B. So don't get confused. This is the main formula. That is P A union B is equal to P A plus P B minus P A intersection B. So anything if one thing is not given and three things are given, then you will be able to find that thing. So here we need to find out P A intersection B. So we'll put this value 1 by 3 is given that P A and P B is given as 1 by 4 minus P A union B is given as 1 by 5. So after solving them, we will get the value of P A intersection B as 23 by 60. So here LCM will be 60 and solving the numerator will get the value as 23. So this will be the value and this will be the answer of this question to find the P of A intersection B. So very simple. You have to just remember this formula. So I hope you are noting down these formulas. Let's move to the very important and one of the most frequently asked questions. So here is the question on your screen. Let us read them. Don't get panic with this much writings, numbers. So it is very simple. I will tell you based on the random assessment of four years. So here it is telling about four years. There is a random assessment of what? Of the mean net production and standard deviation for a grassland. So there was a study in a grassland for four years. And what is given? The mean net production is given as 120 GC per meter square per year that is the unit for the NPP and GPP also and also standard deviation is given as 4 GC per meter square per year respectively that means first mean is given that is 120 and standard deviation is given as 4 you should remember the unit also GC per meter square per year and we have to find the 90% confidence interval around this estimate is how much so this the question is asking and here it is already given the t value so this will be required in the formula so here it is given the t value at 10 percent level of significance for the degree of freedom 3 is given as 2.353 so here if at all you are not knowing what is t what is level of significance but you know the formula then you will get the full marks and you will get the answer correctly. So you will know what is the correct formula to approach this kind of question. So here comes the Brahmastra, the main formula to find the confidence interval when the T distribution is given. So the formula is, let us write down. I hope you are writing as I am repeatedly saying. Please note down all these things. So the formula is X mean, that is the mean plus minus the T value multiplied by the standard deviation divided by the root n. So n is what? Number of observation will give the formula or the value of the confidence interval. So confidence interval ka formula hai mean plus minus t which is the z score multiplied by standard deviation divided by root over of n that is root over of number of observation. So what we will do? Simply put the values and get the answer. So here the formula is on our screen, the question is on our screen, simply we have to put the values, I have already put, what is here, mean is given 120, yes, mean is given 120, plus minus, we have to write plus minus, t value, that is the z score is given here, in the bracket, 2.353 we have to multiply, multiply with what, multiply with standard deviation, which is given as 4 here, and we have to divide it by number root n, n is number of observation, so how much is the observation? observation was for four years so you have to read the question attentively so here four yaha se aajayega idhar root over of four is two so here it will cancel out two will be in the numerator so two multiplied by 2.353 will give how much 4.706 so here all these things will come to 4.706 so 120 plus minus 4.706 will be the answer let us see whether it was there in the option or not let us go back. Yes, the brother is here. Option D, 120 plus minus 4.706 GC per meter square per year is the correct answer and you will get the full marks. So this was the very important formula. You have to write down mean plus minus T multiplied by standard deviation by root N, the formula to find the confidence interval with the T distribution. Now coming to the homework part, which I have provided here. So these two are the homework question for you. Simply I have changed the values 
the formula will be same you have to comment me in the comment section that what will be the answer of this that is the find the expectation of the following discrete probability distribution the x is given as 10 16 18 16 and 35 and px is given as these so you have to read i am not reading because it will be very very boring and similarly this question also you have to find the answer find the value of p a intersection b where p a is given as 1 by 2 and p b given as 1 by 4 and p a union b is given 1 by 5 so you have to tell me in the comment section for both this question what will be the answer so i hope you have enjoyed this video you have learned something new don't forget to subscribe the channel to get all further updates and prepare for the environmental science entrances and yes you can also join our telegram group for the regular quizzes to strengthen your preparation and be successful in the examination so see you guys in our next video till then keep smiling and believe in yourself